My name is Maddie Machado and I'm a rotational intern for LRT Sports. Today with me I here I have Hallie Earl. Hallie's from West Caldwell, New Jersey. She attended Rutgers University. She graduated in 2015 with her bachelor's degree in business management and Spanish. During Hallie's time at Rutgers, she ran track before switching to rowing after sustaining an injury. So during Hallie's time at Rutgers, she was a letter winner in the Big East Conference. She, she rowed seat three in the Women's Varsity Four. And Hallie also won the Hammer Award for the fastest 2K time on her team. So today Hallie's gonna talk with us and explain to us her experience from switching from track to rowing. So without further ado, Hallie Earl. Hey Madge, what's up? So I'm just gonna ask you a few questions. All right, how First to, question is like answer it in. How many years have you been running track? Um, so I ran for for 12 years, like at a, you know, within like track and field as a sport. Um, and then after that, I've kind of run just like off and on distance, but not really. <laughs> awesome. So are you still running? Yeah, ish. I mean, I've actually been kind of cycling and biking more, which is great. It's actually, I have a, a back injury, so running is sometimes just not too easy. Yeah. Um, so, but I like to, I do it. It's, and I've never, honestly, I've never liked distance. Like I've always been a sprinter. So it was never fun for me to just go out and run. So, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to get in the, into the injury in a little bit. So can you just describe your um, experience with running track at Rutgers? Like what did running track there mean to you? Yeah, well, it was, it was just what I wanted. Like it was kind of like every, it was, it was a big goal of mine um to to do that so going in it was it was harder than anything I'd ever done um and just really different um because my high school is a lot smaller so just overall huge transition and just a really really tough one yeah so um, you mentioned your injury um can you talk a little bit how that affected your ability to run track and also how did you injure yourself yeah uh I I I had um a, a couple of injuries with my hamstrings in high school and it, you know, when you have imbalances, it makes other injuries easier to happen. Um, so I was lifting and, and part of the Rutgers athletics thing is, is kind of lifting really heavy and doing like a lot of Olympic style. Um, and it, it kind of just really messed with my, my lower legs. And, um, so I ended up, I actually herniated a disc. I found out later. So, I didn't know it and I, I you know it, it was just it's something that happened in passing and it really obviously affected it entirely like I had numbness going down my legs and my stride was so short because I was lifting so heavy and it just wasn't working <laughs> I was running slower than I ever was in college yeah that's tough yeah. So <laughs> was what tough. advice would you give an athlete who is experiencing like a similar injury like what did you do for rehab what worked for you what didn't work for you yeah, I mean, my one my one piece of advice, honestly, if I, if I could tell myself it, it would be like advocate for yourself more, um, because I feel like I wasn't quite given, you know, like there, I, I wasn't given an MRI uh, by you know by my my school, um, and I went to the doctor multiple times, and I was kind of just shoot off. So I would say advocate for yourself and make sure that you're seeing trainers and, you know, seeing doctors, um, especially when you know that your pain is there. Um, and, you know, I would say just like uh, stretch a lot <laughs> and be very hyper aware of your body because you know it more than anyone else. Like you've been injured too. Like it's, it's not an easy thing to do and or go through and you want to prevent it. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. And that can be a tough position to be into as a freshman because... Yeah, it was, you know, it was a bummer. It wasn't easy, <laughs> especially yeah. when I was so excited to do it, you know, like to be there. It was, it was just, it was a tough year. Yeah. So ultimately your injury is what made you have to walk away from track? Yeah, it was just like, I, I wasn't getting better, um, obviously, because I wasn't really doing rehab because they told me I had a muscular issue in my back and they were just like, you need to rest it. So I did rest and I came back and then the numbness came back and I had, I was running really poorly because I had spinal issues and it wasn't really, you know, um, and I, it just, at the, at the time I was, I was ready to just call it a loss. And at that time I was like, I'm, I'm, I, I felt like I really lost a part of my identity it was really, really hard. Um, I still like remember doing it and like 
feeling like it, I, I knew it was the right decision, but it was just really tough. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm happy that I did it ultimately. Yeah. So what was the hardest part about having to leave track behind? Um, probably the relationships with like coaches, um, that I had that had kind of followed me throughout my career. And like, in a way, my relationship, not with my parents, it, it, not that it changed, but just feeling like I didn't have anything for them to be proud of me for. I don't know. It was a really, like, it was a really tough time for me identity wise, as I said, and just with relationships with people that you have been talking to about your sport for, you know, 12 years and all of a sudden it's not happening anymore. It was tough. Um, and I think that's kind of what led me to rowing in a sense, you know? Yeah, for sure. So you mentioned relationships. My next question for you is, were you able to maintain any relationships with, you know, your, your track teammates or did those kind of fizzle out? How did that kind of work? Yeah, there were, there were a few. I mean, I was on the team for such a short, you know, it was like a, a season kind of and a half and I never, I, I didn't really compete in out in outdoor. So I really didn't get too much, but um, with the team, there were definitely a couple of girls that I became closer with. And like with Rutgers, you, you do end up running into the same people over and over again, that, um, it was always like, so good to catch up with them. Um, and you know, a, a few of my coaches in high school, actually, like, you know, I maintained contact with, which was awesome. And then for, you know, even to just be talking to them about something other than track is nice, you know, just to know that you could be friends with your coaches beyond the sport was, was cool. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Mm -hmm. So what made you decide to try rowing? Like out of all sports, kind of what, what made you like lean towards rowing? I don't even know. I no, it's like, <laughs> I honestly, I knew I was kind of, I, I wanted to do something. I was, I was feeling like I had too much time and, and you were an athlete too. So you get it. Like, you know, you have so much time when you can sport and it's like, oh my God, I can do things now. And then, I don't know. I just felt like I wanted to reintroduce something and someone had mentioned it to me. I don't re even remember who, and I, I learned that you could end up walking on. So I just like walked on and, and made like, you know, there was like a full tryout and it was like a weekend thing and I did it and it was a lot of fun. <laughs> awesome. So can you talk about your like transition from track to rowing? Like how did that differ? Like how did the, how did like a typical day in your life differ from track to mm -hmm. rowing? Yeah, that's a good question actually. So for track, it was like a lot more, um, afternoon heavy so like I get get up I usually would have a lift between like nine and ten but that was like the earliest we'd have and that was three days a week like Monday Wednesday Friday mm -hmm. um and then my practice would start at like three and go until about five thirty or six um and that was either like out at the track or at the indoor track um and then after track practice, it was usually like you go to the rehab center, like and spend an hour there. So it was usually like afternoon to evening. It felt like with track, rowing was like the polar opposite. Um, you were just up six days a week out on the water at like six fifteen, I think. So, um, and that was like late for colleges. Supposedly, it was at a lot of places. It's a lot earlier than that. So I was thankful. Um, but it was kind of great because we were out on the water. We'd be back in and we all went to eat breakfast together. And we had done all that by like 930 or so. So then you have like the whole day. It was amazing. I loved it. Well, and then we had lift in the afternoon, usually. Yeah, that so. sounds nice, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of great. <laughs> sounds good. So what looking back on rowing, like what's your favorite memory? What kind of sticks out to you? Um, honestly, my biggest, my, my biggest, like the, the, my, the friends I made are like, I'm so thankful for, I feel like that was where I made my college friends was with rowing and like most specifically the people I was in that boat with. Um, I just remember like laughing so much about when, cause we all kind of learned it together. Um, and I, it really like felt like we were in the same boat. It was great you know, no pun intended. Um, but it was like, you, you get really close with people. Um, and I definitely got super close with them. So, yeah. That's awesome. So kind of what was it like trying and learning a new sport so late in your athletic career? Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, I felt like there was less pressure because it was like, well, 
you know, it's not like I'm going to go pro at this point. I'm just trying to, you know, um, obviously the stakes are high because it was like, we were a big 10 sport. So they aren't just letting people on the team. And it was, you know, it was, it was tough. Um, but it was, you know, it, I don't know. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. It, I, I feel like I needed it. It would have been like, I would have been bored otherwise. And just being on the water rowing in itself was kind of like a weird sport. Um, it was like so different than track. So it was, it was a great time. Awesome. So what advice do you have for an athlete who wants to try rowing, who maybe like hasn't done it before? I know it's kind of like that sport where you can kind of just jump into it and do it, but for someone who hasn't tried it yet, who's maybe thinking about it, because I think it's definitely growing as a sport over the years, like what advice would you, would you have for them? Yeah. Um, I would say like definitely try and like an erg machine and er ergometers, those rowing machines, um, learn how to do it there know that it's going to be a lot like legs and you know it's it's not going to be fun after like one minute <laughs> and it's definitely more of like an endurance sport um and just be patient with it because it's very frustrating in the beginning to be in a boat with people that don't know how to row because the boat will not be <laughs> not be won't look great so just stick with it because there's really nothing like it when you actually like get get going Awesome. So when you started rowing, how did, how was the relationship with your injury and rowing? Did your injury get better? Did it kind of stay the same? Did mm. it, rowing kind of affect your injury or, you know, was it more of a, of a well-suited sport for you because? You yeah, know, I wish it was. I didn't know, I didn't know that my, my disc was herniated in my back at that time. Um, so I really, you know, I, I don't know if I would have rode if, if I had known, because it did definitely exacerbate my injury, especially because you're, it's just like bending over and doing a deadlift repeatedly. Um, so it wasn't, you know, it wasn't the best thing, but it probably would have happened anyway, doing something else. Um, and it is what it is. Well, thank you, Hal. Thank you. Have a good rest of your night. You too. Bye-bye.